Hi, my name is Haney Malamet, and I am co-director for the STS University Basic Echo Workshop. Along with Glenn Whitman and faculty from the University of Maryland, we're going to be showing you how to do bedside echo for your ICU patients. The goals of this course are to teach you the basic cardiac views. We're going to be going over four of the views that you need to know to evaluate your patients in the ICU. These are going to be the parasternal long axis views, the parasternal short axis views, the apical four chamber view, the subxiphoid, also known as the subcostal view. The parasternal view starts off in the second to fifth intercostal space, and as the name implies, it's right next to the sternum, parasternal view. So we're going to scan from the second to fifth intercostal space to find the heart on the left side of the chest. As you can see here, the probe slides from the second to fifth intercostal space looking for the heart. The marker is going to be pointed at the patient's right shoulder. This is how normal left ventricular function would look. And this is how bad left ventricular function would look. And we're going to be going over this during the seminar. When we go to the parasternal short axis view, we're still going to stay in the second and fifth intercostal space, but we're going to rotate the probe 90 degrees to our best image, and we're going to look at the heart and this view. So we're going to turn the probe from the patient's right shoulder over to the patient's left shoulder. And these are the views we're going to obtain. This is at the level of the aortic valve. This is at the level of the mitral valve. This is at the level of the papillary muscles. And this is at the level of the apex. The view that we're going to need in the ICU is the level of the papillary muscles. This is an example of a patient with poor systolic function at the level of the papillary muscles. When we move to the apical four chamber view, we're going to be going to the fourth or fifth intercostal space at the anterior axillary line. The marker is going to be facing down towards the bed. And you can see here in this video just how that is done. Here's a clip from the apical four chamber view with a patient with normal function. You can see here the patient's left ventricle on the right side of the screen and the patient's right ventricle on the left side of the screen. Here's a patient in the apical four chamber view with a pericardial fusion in addition to poor left ventricular function. These are some of the things we're going to be reviewing during the STS University session. When we go to the subcostal view, we go right under the subcostal margin and we're going to be using the liver as an acoustic window. As you see here, the probe is brought over and we look under the ribs through the liver to look at the heart. Here's a clip of normal cardiac function from the subcostal view. You see the grainy stuff at the top of the screen. This is liver and beneath it we see the heart and the first chamber we hit here is the right ventricle and more distal is the left ventricle.